Greetings, fine brothers and sisters of Grimdark Half Off. I bring you fabulous prices and an amazing let's play. One that cannot be stopped by mere throat sickness. Today we are entering into the Age of King Conan, as Conan has taken the crown of Aquilonia. This game came out in 2008, and many people often complain that the start of this story is very slow for them. For me, I don't mind playing through it, and love the excuse to get into probably a class that is possibly relating to the most underrated god in the Conan universe. Let's get into it. Yeah, there he is. But he's much older now. I really wish that if this game was just a little older, I know that's the opposite of most people's complaints. I wish this game was a little older, so it was still the age where they were putting, like, PNGs of people's faces onto, like, different icons. Like, you know, Deus Ex. And it was just, like, old man Schwarzenegger, and they just slapped his face on there. All right. Uh, we are going to be male. Yes, indeed. And for the class we want to play, we have the choice of Aquilonian, Sumerian, Stygian, Chitin. Firstly, I forgot to mention this. Hey, I do Conan lore on this channel. If you're finding me through this Let's Play because you enjoy Age of Conan, and you simply have not found Let's Plays of it online, and you have found mine, and it's just me and Elder Gamer Girl, you go, Elder Gamer Girl, doing... Let's Plays of this, then welcome aboard. I do the whole Conan universe. I'm one of the few people who plays this game instead of Exiles. Um, we have the choice of Aquilonian, Sumerian, Stygian, Chitin. I went over this in my All Cultures and Races in Conan video. Uh, if you really want a super mega summary that totally mischaracterizes all of these uh, groups, Aquilonian is Proto-Frankish, Sumerian is Proto-Celtic, uh, Stygian is Proto-Egyptian, and Chitin is Proto-Chinese. For the Jenna, no. Okay, we can we can work with this. Um, for the class we want to play, we have to go with a Stygian cultural background, which is not something I really have a problem with. I've been getting a lot into the D and D setting of Dark Sun recently, so I've been feeling the uh, the Egyptian and Mesopotamian vibes here. Uh, Herald of Zotli. Okay, so Zotli, and and dig this man, Zotli is a brimstone fire kraken of sulfuric power from the time before Atlantis sank, and actually is something like a Lovecraftian god even before then. So let's read the class description here. The Herald of Zotli uses dark magic to transform themselves into a fiery demon. Actually, it's more like we have a Cthulhu-flavored devil trigger from Devil May Cry. It's pretty based. In demonic form, they swing at their foes with heavy weapons, while searing flames weaken enemies. We have fire breath, and a giant greatsword, and magic, which is very rare for this game. The combination of those three. We're doing it. We're doing it to it. All right. Um, while searing flames weaken enemies around them. The Herald of Zotli has access to the following armor type. So we can wear silk armor, so we are still dressed like a priest, silk armor, cloth armor, so we have clothes and silk. But here's the thing. We're gonna be able to literally summon extra armor upon us, like a bound armor spell, effectively, and we're gonna look like a cool Dante from Devil May Cry if his dad was Cthulhu. So, you know, instead of demon, it's cthulhu -y. But it is technically a demon within Conan. It's a dark god. The Herald of Zotli has access to the following weapon types, two-handed edged, dagger, crossbow, thrown weapons, etc. And that's still fun because I, I just love having a giant sword and fire breath. That sounds like a very good time to me. The Herald of Zotli has access to the following malicious item types, and that's magical talisman. So it's a good all-around class. It's a mage that plays like a warrior. It can be very, very fun, and that's exactly what I want to get into. Now, uh, for the other classes, some of these are very generic and really only differ in terms of the weapons they can use. But as far as the classes I have played and would recommend, Guardian is like your really heroic knight type fellow. I'm just going to briefly go to him. Well, I don't want to go to him because that'll change the setup I have here. So, the Guardian is your brief sort of uh, setup of a heroic knight of Mitra. You are partially pledged to the god Mitra. 
Of course, Priest of Mitra. Mitra is kind of the Zeus, Amalgam Zeus Yahweh figure in the Conan lore. Dark Templar is a pranic vampire or an energy vampire that draws life force into himself and uses it to increase his strength. Pretty cool. I've seen I've seen a Let's Player who I don't remember the name of do a Let's Play of this, so I think you can find a Dark Templar Let's Play. But for me, and even though we have the Necromancer and the Demonologist, the Demonologist can summon less things, but they're more powerful. The Necromancer can summon more things, but they're less powerful. Necromancer has ice magic. Demonologist has hellfire magic. Demonologist was very fun to run around with. And the Tempest of Set, sadly, I never got to the snake magic, but the last character I was running through on here was definitely a Tempest of Set. Bear Shaman was a little disappointing, I have to say. Um, but Priest of Mitra, the, the Set and Mitra classes, the Guardian, Priest, and Tempest, all, all phenomenal, all wonderful. Uh, but Tempest of Set are essentially Priests of Set. And they can turn into snakes and stuff, and it's fun. But also lightning. Also lightning and thunder, which is fun. And of course, Barbarian. Okay, we've gotten through all those classes. Uh, let's go into our Customize. Yes, alright, so, we are a Herald of Zotli, but we are also a descendant of an Atlantean line. So we were born in Stygia, but we are the descendants of Atlanteans. And so we are to be thick, and not necessarily too tall. We are on the... Well, let's see. If, if this is average, then we'd... Okay, yeah, we'd a little bit the tall side of average. That's where I like to put a lot of my characters. We are going to be a thick... A thick lad. A thick lad. Now, by the way, we're running this on DirectX 10 with a fair amount of reshade presets. So if you like the way the game looks, um, I can briefly pull that up. Uh, F5... Okay, never mind. I cannot briefly pull that up. Oh, wait, no, never mind. Home. Okay, so I have no idea if you're seeing this on screen, but uh, let's go. Yeah, 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 continue. All right, and active to top. So if you use Reshade, these are the three, uh, or rather about five settings I have on. It's nothing too much, but you can see how it does change the look of the game quite well and quite fun. All right. So I'm still recovering from sickness. Uh, but, uh, you know, I've, I've had a lot of throat issues and stuff. It's amazing how much I've recovered in the past four days. Uh, so we're, we're still getting through that. But yes, okay, so a light skin color, yes. Uh, markings, which, uh, let's, let's see what we can do for markings. Viper's Nest. Okay, so this is obviously a set-based tattoo. Okay, um, Messenger of Death. Messenger of Death. Where is that? Wait, Messenger of Death. And also, where is it? Face. Oh, I love this, actually. This is actually more character customized. <laughs> so, you're, this is a game from 2008. It has more character customization than Skyrim. <laughs> you can have markings on your body and your face without a mod. <laughs> okay. Uh, reach. Okay, reach. Definitely very tentacly. I'm liking the tentacles. I'm liking those tentacles. That can be taken out of context. I like those tentacles. All right. Reach. Uh, we have... Uh, let's see. This is still very set like the bitten. No, no, thank you. Uh, blood upset. Well, uh, gee, I wonder. <laughs> the watcher. Okay, the watcher. All right, I like this idea. I want to give my character kind of a moral neutrality in its kind, in his kind of uh, uh, what you would say his moral alignment, if you will. Uh, in the sense that I want him to have the sense that Zotli is this eldritch deity. And it would be similar to if I had the chance to play a Deep One, where it's like, look, Deep One's got to do what Deep One's got to do. There's some dark stuff involved, but it doesn't mean they're going to make every negative or negative moral choice along the way. So it's a morally gray character with a little bit of a penchant towards the black because of his rights, his responsibilities, his rituals to Zotli, who he does feel indebted to as his family's protector. Um, but now as for eye color, let's switch that over to a brown and let's go. Oh my, that's, that's literally the face. That's where's the, where's the facial markings. Okay. There we go. Uh, the sentinel. So I like this. I like the watcher and the sentinel. So he sees, he sees all and he seeks to protect. He sees all he seeks to protect. And then he becomes go power rangers, go Zotli storm. And he becomes a power ranger, devil trigger man with the fire breath and the great sword. So I'm, I'm already liking this. I'm liking this setup here, this sort of blood hawk look. I'm very much liking it. Let's go with the hairstyle. 
Um, can I, uh, let's see. Advance? No, 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 that's fine. Uh, let's, can I zoom in? Zoom, enhance. Enhance you. Do, do the enhance now, okay. Oh, wait, can I? Can I actually? Oh! Oh, 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 look at you, Mr. Handsome. All right. Well, almost. Let's let's take care of that. Damn, DirectX 10 really does brighten this up. This really does get cleared up. All right. Uh, I, I'm sorry it's taken me so long, by the way, to get this Let's Play started. Ah, uh, short and curly. So this is the, the nice Christopher Reeves look uh, that I always like in this game. I, li I like this kind of setup. But uh, let's let's go through the facial hair again, even though I never find facial hair that's that's really better than the full beard. Um, at the same time, okay, since he's a Stygian, but he comes from an Atlantean line, Atlanteans were not known for having beards, so I think he should actually be clean-shaven in a kind of classical, normal Roman style, though I am a sucker for the Zeus look. Uh, there we are. I like this. This is also, by the way, it, just for any future Conan games, I would love a Conan game where they just give you a base human. You can shape them however you want, and you have a cultural slider background. And from there, you can just pick. I mean, that's really what it is. You should just be able to pick uh, that cultural background, and then that allows you to access certain classes. I'm very pro a cultural background lock on classes, but I'm not pro a, you know, oh, well, you have to be this race this sex for class i always thought that's one of the weakest parts of black desert online for example uh, other than everything else in black desert online all right uh let's let's look at the eyes again i want to make sure to get brown uh, and it's glowing i'm guessing that's because of the reshade stuff that's my own fault i suppose all right we have uh we have this nice this just a very solid looks very champion very heroic um, can we go for scars? Let's go with scars. Are there scars? Facial? No? No? Okay. Fine with me. I'm guessing those would be face markings. Those would be face markings. And we want to go darker hair, maybe? Uh, look at white hair. Oh, wow. Look at that. Look at fancy. Look at fancy. You can be fancy. You can be, mm, look at me. All right. Um, I can, I can be Italian. I can be, okay, dark hair. There we go. There we go. Uh, black hair is very. Uh, uh, time for this. Uh, uh. All right, all right. We're looking at a. We're looking at a winner here. Looking at a winner here. And what should our morally gray sort of? I don't know. What 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 should be he be? He's a watcher. He's a sentinel. He's devoted to Zotli. Zotli is a brimstone kraken, and he was born into a Stygian culture, but along an Atlantean line. So, I think that he should have a bit of a Stygian name. And so, to get Stygian, we're going to go with an English to uh, Pharaonic, English to Ancient Egyptian uh, translator. Uh, let's see, or rather, no, let's just go English to Egyptian then. Let's just go English to Egyptian, because Google doesn't want to give me an English to Ancient Egyptian. All right, English to Egyptian, and okay, come on now, come on, come on, come on, oh no, all right, uh, uh-huh, oh, okay, well, instead it's giving me English to Arabic, well, okay, sure, why not, um, <laughs> Let's just go with, uh, let's see, uh, Son of Sulphur. Uh, showing translation, yes. So that would translate to Albin's Ab Abin Sulphur. Abin Sulphur. So he will be Abin Sulphur. And uh, actually, Abdul Al-Hazrad would be a good reference here. So why not Abdul Sol Abdul Sulfir Abdul Sulfir So Abdul Hazrad reference and then Sulfir for Brimstone and Sulfur of Zoltli. And so we have that nice bit of Lovecraftian lore put in here. We have our nice George Reeves, Christopher Reeves looking protagonist here with his fancy face paint on and Direct X11 enhanced body. And I've wasted so much time in character creation. But this looks so good. And I'm sorry for my not doing my usual psychoanalysis character creation, but I, I am st <laughs> I'm still kind of sick. All right, enter game. 
and we are a male Stygian Herald of Zoltli, and the character type is normal. If you don't know, there's an unconquered option. It's kind of like a hard mode you can choose from the beginning, and the reason it's hard is because it basically level caps you at half level, but your rewards increase, uh, but when the character dies, as I understand it, he dies forever. All right. Except... We're not doing that, because we want this guy to last a long time. Abdul Sulfir. Go forth, Abdul Sulfir. Now, fun fact, you know, one of the biggest misunderstandings about Lovecraft is that people thought that he was, like, attacking Arabic cultures through Abdul Al-Hazrad, when in reality, The Arabian Nights was, like, the first book he read when he was a little kid, and the way he would escape, and actually this is something him and Robert E. Howard had in common, um, the way he would escape his childhood of unending torment, and uh, Robert E. Howard similarly at Cross Plains, Texas, is that they would picture themselves as adventurers in the Middle East, and how he would contextualize himself, how Lovecraft would contextualize himself, is as Abdul al-Hazrad. So that's who he would be in that culture in his mind. He would think of himself as someone who would go mad over there, even though he was escaping. So he... It was. He, he, I'm not talking smack about the guy, but he definitely thought there was something wrong with himself. Uh, and our skin tone has been selectively changed for this cutscene. I appreciate that. We have been. We got a tan very quickly. So then, you're not quite dead. This is Tortaj, the pirate haven. Game came out in 2008, and he does that every time. Up and down. To the west is Atlantis, silent and dead under the open ocean. Eastwards lies Hyboria, where the world's doom rises. But your life is ending, even as I speak. The slave master from your vessel runs through the wilderness to reach the city. Slaves are forbidden within the walls, and if he tells the guards your ship carried a cargo of flesh, you will be left outside to rot in the jungle. If you enter Tortaj City, find the old seer, Nadini. Tell her Kalantes of Ibis sent you. Now go, find Sadur. Buy your life with his death. All right, so Kalantis of Ibis. So this is actually a very fun thing I didn't pick up on the game until now. Ibis is the Stygian version of Mitra. So he is someone who himself is a worshiper of the light. Uh, and he is someone who maybe we should be coming into conflict with. I don't know, but uh, generally speaking, he's level 80. That would be a very stupid idea, but for roleplay purposes... Oh, I already have fire breath! Wow! Yeah! All right. All right. Oh, baby. Oh, baby, baby. Oh, I'm feeling good. Look at that. Look at that smile. Look at that. It's a battle grimace. It's a battle happy. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, okay, right, right, right. We have to talk to uh, this this woman first. And admittedly, the first part of Age of Conan is relatively forgettable, but I, I do want to talk about this because I talked about it last time I played this game, which is that just generally speaking, this is a great start. The crash slave ship right behind you, you have to fight for your independence in a world that wants to enslave you and beat you down. This is a world of action equaling liberty, freedom, and self-empowerment, whereas any kind of inaction or letting other people do your thinking for you will very quickly result in your enslavement or you being backstabbed very quickly. That's what Conan is all about, your personal empowerment through your action. And that's what makes it such a great spiritual format for a video game and for inspiration for a video game. So I, I just hope we get better Conan games in the future because we're because really you're stuck between a very old game or a game that is pretty much more for survival players than it is for people who like RP. Welcome to Age of Conan. Left click on the hints to learn more. Done. Okay. So someone in need of aid, bodies moving around. I will get to that, but right now I will do what I have done a million times and talk to Casilda. Hello, <coughs> Hello Casilda. A friendly face amongst so much ugliness. By the gods. Free me, I beg you. Those brutes set upon me in a park less than an hour ago and ran me down as I fled. Animals. Brutes? Who did this to you? I was a captive of the tyrant of Tortage. 
though I managed to flee after three days in the less than tender care of his red hand soldiers. I hoped to hide outside the city until they forgot about me. But I was chased down by the scavenger and his raiders. Uh, how do I free you? I seek the city. Do you know the way? And what should our character be focused on now that he's free? I believe that one of the things he would be focused on as a herald of Zotli would be trying to convert others. So, again, this is where the moral grayness comes in. Eventually, he does want people participating in basically human sacrifice for Zotli, the brimstone fire, uh, fire squid dark demon god from Atlantis. But he also wants to recruit people in an empathetic way and show them that Zotli can solve their problems. So, how do I free you and in character... Let Zotli free you from this madness. I, I will liberate you and show you the way. The scavenger has the key. He's a petty raider captain from Tortage. He and his small gang are nearby. Slit that bastard's throat and, and loot his corpse. Please, don't leave me here. I'll hunt down this scavenger and take him out. Please, hurry. He's on the beach, peeking through the bones of the sunken ship. Gods go with you. And actually, one of the more fun things about RPing as a follower of any of the more Lovecraftian gods is you'll notice that other than, I think, Yogg, who's really more of a, a, you know, a shambling horror or a creeping horror uh, in the Exiles game, but other than Yogg, a lot of the Lovecraftian deities not only are canon here, but they don't have mainstream beefs. Like if you're dealing with Mitra or Ymir, it's pretty clear that you're probably not going to be a friend of Set. Uh, Ymir, though a giant frost giant, is basically, you know, proto-Odin and less fun or less forgiving Mitra. And Mitra is like Old Testament mixed with just a hint of Jesus and a lot of Zeus. So that's that's like kind of a thing where you have like this battle of a fire breath baby of light gods and dark gods but in the middle you have these fun people who are just these Lovecraftian mad nut jobs who just want to basically kind of see the world burn but you're not quite sure and that's the fun part so you get a lot of interpretation from the human side and I again I apologize for not talking about the battle mechanics that's one of the most timeless and fun things about this it's one of the reasons that by all rights you could say something like Age of Conan has aged better than something like World of Warcraft because you're not just aimlessly clicking one two three four five six seven eight uh, what you have is a series of different barriers on these different and I, I know we should go back to Casilda but I do want to showcase the combat system God, Direct X10. Look at that Direct X10. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that Direct X10. Oh, no, no. All right. Um, but we have this wonderful, wonderful system where you have the 1, 2, 3, and you have selective attacks based on how many shields are present on these various NPCs. And now some attacks, like my Fire Breath that I'm showcasing here, uh, don't require anything and are more controlled by your directional camera. Uh, but then you have, oh, baby, the power attacks, baby. And I'm really liking those. Um, and the power attacks are uh, basically you get to do your power attack if you hit the correct uh, one of the one, two, three. So each power attack that you have, the power abilities on your uh, ability bar, which are for our character probably going to be five, six, seven, eight, all the way down to zero, uh, they will correspond to a one, two, or three, a straightforward hit, a left diagonal, or a right diagonal hit. And if you hit the correct one, you'll perform the power attack. If not, you'll miss your opportunity. So it requires skill and actually being a good player to be good at the game and the combat system. That was very refreshing to me and felt like a very good equalizer. This game is definitely deserving of its own review later down the line on this channel. And I will definitely get to it. And I'll probably be playing sessions of this uh, and fleshing out our character's backstory as we go. Uh, you guys know that I usually like to plan out long backstories ahead of time, but, you know, circumstances being what they are. Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> oh, and Casilda is a great metaphor as well for liberation from slavery. I mean, for obvious reasons, but uh, you have been ill-used, Casilda. I and Zotli shall protect... I, on behalf of Zotli, who you should totally worship because he's awesome, will protect you now. And I will thank the gods each dawn that you found me here. Come then, to the city. Maybe once we're safe, I'll reward you for your efforts. 
Conversion secured. I never forget your help. All right. Now, in reality, um, so obviously she uses her feminine wiles to sort of charm you here. Uh, but I will just give you a straight up spoiler. So plug your ears if you don't want to hear this. Casilda will be revealed as one of the rebel leaders. So look at that from a contextual metaphor from the story. You just finished liberating yourself from slavery, or rather you're on the journey to liberate yourself from slavery. You haven't killed Surtur yet, <laughs> who's your boss, who's your, uh, who's your you know, sort of slave master. Uh, what the hell? We're Americans. We we know that's that's how it <laughs> how it feels to have a boss, um, but uh, but Casilda is on a similar journey, and how you s free yourself is you help liberate others from slavery, which is a very healthy, positive message. And then you basically liberate her. She basically helps liberate you later down the line when you're facing further troubles in the city, as we'll later see. But uh, for right now, let's enjoy some fun combat and just whoop some pirate butt. Let's uh, let's deal with that, and uh, hopefully get a nice big old sword. All right, yeah, there we go. All right, four, and we want to keep a little bit of a distance, but we actually might not have to. Yeah. Oh, I like this. Oh, oh, oh. yeah. You see, I'm I'm usually testing out the priest classes, and I really am getting familiar with this very specific area because I've played through this starting so many times. But as many people have said before, it can be very much a drudge fest to get past this initial pirate island phase. And many people have complained that uh, complained to me about that. So I will be trying to get through it with as minimal talking as possible. But if you've seen my Guild Wars 2 stuff, well, I mean, come on, you know me. Ooh. Come on, yeah, okay. Oh God, I am dying quick. Okay, run, Casilda, cheese it, cheese it, Casilda. Casilda. Oh, Batman Forever music is kicking in. Oh, God. Uh, yeah. Uh, la, la, la. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. I'm used to shooting fireballs at people. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, no. Oh, I died. I actually died. Oh, my. Okay. Well, that is something. That is... I am pathetic. Where am I? Oh, okay. That's not too far away. We're just, we're just right out here. Eh. I mean, if we actually had gained any items by this time, I guess I'd be sad. But, uh, okay, let's go grind up a bit. I guess I, I kind of misjudged my, my own ability, and I probably shouldn't have been talking during the fight. That is my bad, 100%. Um... So let's go start with this guy then. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay, come on. And four. And ideally, what we want to do is we want to take care of all of these grunts, part one. And actually, no, my own failure was an example of something I'm praising about the game. I had to be actually good at it, and I am not used to playing a Herald of Zoltli, despite it being my aesthetically favorite class from all the pictures and all the skills and all the weapons I get to use. That is an example of something I am praising about the game and will not cease to praise simply because I suck at it. That is... That is standard consistency, is what that is. I am now a member, I am now a hybrid member of the Blood and the Crypts. That is what the, that is what the purple bandana signifies. It is, that's what it does. Alright, now, that we have brought gang violence to the Conan world. Yeah. Yeah. Hello, hello, how are you? Goodbye, now you die. Okay, never mind. Apparently, it's, okay, now, I want to focus on the boss very specifically and very specifically focus on the boss stay focused on the boss no matter what else happens I need to stay focused on that boss no matter what else happens no matter what else occurs the panther can be dealt with later good now panther all right good aha uh -huh. Abdul Safir wins again. All right. And the origin for his name comes from sad Google Translate. Uh. All right. And. Ah, oh, man, really? Main hand, off hand. Two handed blunt. Ah, I can only use two handed edged. Mmm. 
Curses. All right, all right, fine, fine. Uh, let's let's start with this. How much dagger? Oh, this does less damage. All right. All right, good. We took out this group of people. Uh, let's see if they have anything for us over here. Hello, Mr. Gorilla. We'll be fighting a lot of you pretty soon. Uh, take all. And then, let's see here. And also, this is one thing I always take time to appreciate, much to the chagrin of my wonderful and adoring and deeply understanding audience who are smart and wise for continuing to watch the video. Uh, and that is the dynamic placement, or the, uh, I'd say the the method of dynamic placement. When it comes to whatever standard of art you have to work with, if you can manage maximum eye time and basic art appreciation principles within your setting or design, even if it's a jungle that people have been in a million times, as long as you're looking in a direction you haven't usually looked, there will always be something beautiful and amazing to admire, the way the sun comes through the trees. And I know I'm biased because I'm using DirectX 10, DirectX 10 or the, the various reshade presets, but it still looks so beautiful. And I have to give it props. Okay, here we are. And then I can see... Okay, so was that a change or is that because I already tried to kill one of the bosses? That's very interesting. Come on. Yeah, I gotcha. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> like, well, you didn't actually hit anything. I know. Shut up. It's okay. Oh, well, usually you can kill both of them. I guess this was sort of like a punishment for me not... Uh, for me losing the boss. I'm very okay with that. I'm very okay with that. I'm very approving of that, to be clear. I'm not against that. And actually, there's a secret area after the Surtur fight where I think I can fight a series of Lovecraftian enemies. I discovered it once before. And it just gives you a bunch of secret boss fights and enemies that you can have a lot of fun with. Um, and it, it punishes you by kind of cutting you off from that area if you die, but then it rewards you. Um, and it doesn't, it doesn't actually cut you off from it. And I am mischaracterizing a lot of the game uh, when I say that. But I mean it respawns you in an area where you're not exactly going to want to go back there. It doesn't incentivize that, but... Um, it's, it's just a good challenge, and I, I want to be able to take him out. The, the Demonologist is kind of overpowered early game, because you can just blow stuff up with fire, and you don't have to rely on any of the weapon combos, but honestly, the, one of the many reasons I wanted to play the Herald of Zoli isn't just because they're aesthetically my favorite type of, or aesthetically my favorite class, but also, just generally speaking, I mean... They have that access to weapons and to fire magic. I love the fire magic in this game. It's one of the few... I'm not usually a fire guy. Usually if I have the choice, I'd go ice or water. But in Conan, it just feels right. It feels good. And it's probably because of the ethos of the universe and how much respect it has for spirituality, religion, this kind of idea of change and faith in the mind and things like the dream realms and different aspects of the universe, which I wish were more explored. Uh, okay... Here we go. Boom. All right. Um, let's see here. Don't have anything else over here. And we have many a boss and many boss to take out. But as usual with any let's play, I'm going to get lost in my head. Boosh. And I apologize because I will get lost in thought and I'll be in the middle of a sentence and then move on to something else. I am a squirrel gamer. Uh, I specialize in open world games, and by specialize in them, I mean uh, succeed at being incredibly stupid in them. So that that's what you're kind of in for. Um, but let's let's look at our guy. He's all decked out in pirate garb. He's got a funky purple bandana. We got a grape flavored bandana. We're feeling good. We got grape drink bandana, and we are happy. Oh no, he's attacking grape drink. No, pray Zotli. Ah, ah, Zotli Akbar. Come on, bring it. Yeah, all right. Uh, there we go. And that's another thing to look out for. Oh, nice belt. Uh, that's another thing to uh, to kind of look out. Oh, uh, let's see. Sea Dog shorts. Oh, is that what I'm currently equipped with? Okay. Uh, three armor, three armor, four, four. Nine. Okay, not much change, not much change. All right, and I, I always like the aesthetics here. Uh, because it does give you actually quite the nice bit of equipment to mix and match with the first merchant you can find with the first uh, set of robes and everything. Of course, we kind of want to look like a cultist, actually getting kind of a Samurai Jack vibe to our character design, which would be very fun, in my opinion.
Boom. All right. Uh, now we have a boss there, and usually what I like to do is use the freedom of a caster class to take out uh, the poacher here first. And by the time this guy gets to me, he's just a one-off. But that is not what we do here as the Herald of Zotli. We charge into battle so that one day we might do this. And also, you can notice this. this is actually something I really like about the Horde Poacher boss here. Uh, he's using uh, Priest of Set or Herald, not Herald of Set, Tempest of Set abilities. You can actually notice that, which I'm very much a fan of. And one thing I'm noticing about the Herald of Zotli is that he is losing health quite quickly for a melee class, and that is incentivizing me to grind, level up, and try to get me that sweet, sweet demon armor, which we can bind to us. Okay, four armor, four armor. All right. That's fine. That's fine. Because uh, I'd either go with something kind of shirtless to show off the tattoos. Ideally, you'd want something shirtless with a dress bottom. Something that either looks like a, you know, uh, either something out of Samurai Jack or something out of the anime Bleach. Uh, for our character and just I don't know. I don't know why I'm taking a very JRPG anime influence You know, oh devil may cry uh, and then Gendy Darto Gendy Dartovsky's um, And I should have just let these people kill each other they and oh, that's the other thing factions fight each other in this and That's just something that I, even in Skyrim that doesn't often happen for me like other than the you know The fun stuff like Giants and Dragons and stuff like usually I'll notice like wolves and bandits team up to attack me But here I can watch Picts and poachers beat each other to death, and I think that's very healthy. I Think that builds camaraderie and teamwork. I think that's a great team building exercise. Hi. Oh Yeah, you're gonna punch me. You're a good boxer, huh? You're a good boxer and uh, big man big man. Yeah, it's better up and better up swing it swing it do it swing it. You can do it. You can do it. Oh, okay Sadly, you're dead He fought bravely and heroically. He was a good man, but he gave me furry underwear Casilda Did you, you I always didn't like that you didn't have the option to give Casilda any of your clothes to just like and uh, yeah I know I know I'm simping uh, but I, I I'm, I'm trying to I'm trying to clothe clothe my fellow human and make strong to not make weak to free slave, make not slave, slave bad, free good, punch thing now, good. All right. Uh, what, what, what do I go? I, I really love the way this world looks. I know I keep saying that. I really love the way the world looks. And I'm going to breathe fire on you. This is the Herald of Zotli, and that's what it is. Oh, oh, that's a brutal kill, baby. Oh, yeah, there are kill cams in this game. And they actually give you benefits when you kill through it. And I don't remember what they are, but I think I got, like, a small boost to my attack. So if I was fighting another guy, I would be... Oh, okay, okay, wait a minute, I got a thing, I got a thing. A boom. What What even was that? What? Okay. Fine. I don't know what that... I don't know what that was. I don't know what button I was supposed to press. I... I kind of... I kind of hope that recharges, but... No, no, no! Dragged him, dragged him, dragged him! Okay, four. Fire breath time. Boom. And then we'll six. Uh... No idea what that... Okay, I knocked him down, apparently. That's what that does. I can summon the the depression of Zotli to demoralize them and make them sad. I, I don't know what I did. There we go. Oh, oh yeah, no, I forgot that, too. Oh, when I kill people with firemen... Because I noticed that, too. Um, there are just these inherent shock effects. And again, I keep comparing this to Skyrim because I'm not a real gamer and I'm a complete poser when it comes to my, my nerd credentials. So, but anyway... Uh, when it comes to the lightning and ice and fire effects, they actually have these animated death kills and everything is voiced, which some AAA games still today, sadly, aren't voiced, which should surprise you and make you sad. But yeah, no, it's a fully voiced Conan adventure and it's just great. Uh, but yeah, let me, let me look at the info on this ability. Uh, this attack inflicts increased damage and flings back the target. Knockback effect after level 6. Uh, ceases after level six. Okay, uh, one hand. Okay, inflicts increased damage and back. Okay, I like that concept. All right, so let's let's try to six them and then six them again, which maybe is what the prompt is trying to tell me. Six, six. Okay, that did nothing. Hi, how are you? Is this uh? No, it's not bugged. He's just. I feel you. He's just. He's flexing. He's flexing is what he was doing. He was, he was working hard on his abs. What he was doing. 
You know? I don't judge. I don't judge. I don't judge people who try to improve themselves. It's called an isometric exercise. That's what that was. It was an isometric hold. More furry underwear. You know, Casilda, I kind of get why you don't want to wear these. I mean, I, I do keep peeling them off of dead guys. All right. Ah, uh, Picked Archer, I see. Well, let me tell you something, Picked Archer. Now you're getting picked here. <laughs> All right, there we go. Dude, I just beat your entire family to death. I understand this is very traumatic, but you might want to exercise some common sense and run away. Never mind, you're already dead. All right, now we go into the boss fight with Surtur. All right. I'm still trying to remember where all those Lovecraftian monsters were. I can't remember. Oh, that's going to bother me forever now. Oh, wait, no, it is here. stands before Sadur? Okay, this arguably, Sador is a love-to-hate early villain, wonderfully written to be the most despicable fat piece of filth on the planet. I did a psychoanalysis of him in my first little video on this game. I know you, slaver. You wielded the lash aboard that accursed ship. It wasn't like a good lash, like the tentacles of Zotli, which I repeatedly flagellate myself in the back with to prove my loyalty to him, but the bad kinds of lashes that were given not out of weird self-hatred that I have because of my strange Lovecraftian religion, but the bad kind of hatred that was given from other people to you. That's not good. It seems the gods smile upon Sadur this day. I thought I was the only one to survive. But it seems some of my property was spared. Come, I'll clamp irons around your throat and put you to work, slave. Put me to work, not under the will of Zotli, you buffoon. He has freed me from your grip, and I shall free you from your head. That's my intent, slave. The gate here you want to commit suicide? is locked, and a creature, some kind of beast, it guards the key in the ruins nearby. Come, we must be swift. While the demon feasts upon your flesh, I'll take the key and make my way to the city. Are you ready? No. Wait, didn't you go to school? That's called an ape. You're from Stygia. You're from Stygia like me. You don't have an excuse. You were a slaver. You were born into a noble. But you don't have an excuse for not knowing that's an ape. All right, whatever. Fine, whatever. We, we come from the most educated part of the... Uh, it's not important. Did the shipwreck... Oh, I can't say that word on YouTube. I can't say that word on YouTube. Aha! Okay. Did the did the shipwreck, shipwreck sexually assault you without consent in your mind as well as your sanity? Of course not. Sadur is a practical man. He will make you a promise. If you survive the demon's feast, he will take you to Tortage and sell you there. Is that not fair, slave? My life is worth more than a handful of coins, so proclaim Zotli. Not to me, nor to Slave Master Ulrich. Come, I tire of this talk. The day is hot and my patience runs as dry as my throat. The sooner I sell you, the sooner I'll have the coins for ale. Your days of dealing flesh are over. Come and die, Sutter. Brave words from one who has worn a slave's chains. The shame of servitude finally overcame your cowardice, did it? But tell me. Is it not better to live as a slave? Fight me, and your bones will bleach under the Bratian sun. Kneel now, and I will forget this play acting of you possessing a backbone. What are you going to kill me with, type 2 diabetes? Though you bear the mark, and are worth much to me, Slave Master Ulrich despises troublesome property. You will not sacrifice yourself to the demon? Bah! The Great Serpent shall judge your worthless. Ah, Servant of Set, that inferior god. I should have known. Uh, well, actually, you know, I should have known, because, well, I mean, you know, Snake Pope. Kind of, Thoth Amon is currently the head priest of Set, which is 
or the high priest of Set, which is also basically Snake Pope. I call him Snake Pope at this time period. At this time period, he is Snake Pope, and Conan is King Conan of Aquilonia, and that's that's fun. Snake Pope. I like saying Snake Pope. Snake Pope is cool. Snake Pope. I will defeat you, servant of Snake Pope. Your Nambla activity ends now. All right. There we go. Oh, hello, soiled lo- Whoa, oh, whoa, oh, oh, whoa, oh, God. That, oh, God. Oh, no, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, <laughs> 16 armor! <laughs> soiled loincloth! What? Oh, 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 God damn it, it's funny, but I don't. <coughs> and you know what's terrible about all this, right? It fits the archetype. And we're eventually going to have to continue to the city. But before then, I actually do want to kill a lot of these these sort of alien-looking enemies and showcase them. I have to put it on. It's it's good for our armor. It's the closest thing to good armor we're going to get. It's high-rating armor. Ah, uh, Casilda's judging me. She can't look at me. Yeah. No, I feel you. I feel you, Casilda. Now, I have lost respect for myself, too. Don't worry. You know? I feel that. I do. Alright, and I'm just going to change out to a uh, blue tunic for a bit of a change of pace here. Maybe a bit of a... Hmm. Mm, no, no, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. Mm. As far as style goes, this looks the best because it has the purple and is... I don't know. I'm, so I'm sounding... I'm too concerned with fashion. Let's... Let us begin the war. Let us, let us begin the long trek down Electric Avenue. I'm gonna take you down to Zootly Avenue. All right, yes. Four. For some reason, they don't have the shields on them right now, which I'm confused and might be a glitch. I don't know. No, he has the shields. And Casilda is just watching, as usual. Casilda likes to watch. Um... Uh, and all right. Hopefully I can kill this guy and get through here before I have to deal anything more from them. There we are. As for you, you little prick. Oh, right, you're a boxer. I, I actually do like... You look at the boxing animations and the hit animations. I, I weirdly keep comparing it to Skyrim because everything except for, like, it having an actual open world is better. Like, is that, that's... Okay. Oh, God. And then we're going to get so much more loot that we can sell later. So it's it's very good that we're collecting all of this now. That is very, very good. And as we move down here, we're going to see a lot of slowly changing from picked shamans uh, into delightful alien bastards who I am going to enjoy ripping apart. With Zotli's power, of course, and blessing. And hey, you know what? If uh, some of them want to convert, Zotli knows no uh, no bias here. Oh, you're not human, so what? Eh, we don't care, you know? Eh, her boss is a giant brimstone fire squid, you know? Do what it do. What does he want? We don't really know. That's, that's kind of the thing. We assume human sacrifices. Um, hey, Casilda, you're cool with human sacrifices in the future. Hey, Casilda, can you sign this contract to be a human sacrifice? Okay, where are you going? Uh, don't, don't worry, I'm, I'm a friend. <laughs> I'm totally a friend. Uh, maybe. Or, oh, look at the architecture here. See, if you like Conan Exiles, it, play Age of Conan. Seriously, look at the build pieces. Look at where all this is placed. It uses dynamic placement. You're going to do, do great by copying this. You're going to do great. Get inspiration from this stuff. It's beautiful. All right. Hey, I could do that trick too. But <laughs> I'm in horrible pain. In real life. All right. Aha. Mm -hmm. All right, six, 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 six. Come on, six, six him. Okay. Well, apparently I can't six, six him. That is a very unreliable power, and I don't know who it works on and who it doesn't, because it has no specific stipulation. Haha. -ha. Old game of justice. All right. Old game of pain. There you go. Uh, but no, this, this, I, I can't get over how nice this looks. How nice it feels, too. 
Uh, that's it's just what it is to me. I can gush over this for hours. I love everything. Look at the skulls. Look at the skulls, baby. Skulls for the skull throwing. Look at the skulls. And also, corn would be a great if you want a homebrew like a tabletop Conan got corn from Warhammer 40k, baby. Oh, that's oh, oh, oh that's a, oh, that is a gourmet meal of creativity. That is fun. That fits so well. All right. All right, yeah, 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 hellfire breath. Oh, hellfire breath. All right. Mm. Mm. There we are. And uh, ooh, new shoes. Hello. Oh, that's not new shoes. No, oh. no, these are all the same shoes. Indeed. Okay. This guy. You look him over here. Bat picked Mauler. He's just like. Just sitting down. Oh, no, okay. All right. Yeah, no, no. Rule number one. Don't stop to talk. Don't stop to talk. Don't stop to talk. Uh, I, I got too addicted to this because if this if this game had like a, you know, toggle off enemies or whatever thing, I, I would definitely use it just to look around at the villages and the NPCs going about their day because even they seem to have a more detailed... Not fully, obviously. It probably isn't a fully daily routine, but it, they just feel alive. Everything about these... The design on these picks feels wonderful. Hello. I have to kill you, buddy. I'm sorry. That's how colonization works. Gaboom. Hey, on the bright side, don't worry. Uh, according to the Conan timeline, eventually you all convert to Mitra worship uh, and then become like missionaries and stuff. And, and then like, I don't know, like fuse with the Sumerians to create Irish people. I wonder if this video will stay up on the screen. <laughs> I wonder... <laughs> <coughs> mm. Ah, all right. All right, so ideally... Oh, look at the zebra skin rug. That's beautiful. That's gorgeous. All right. All right, what are you... Yeah, it's a piggy. It's a pig. That's a pig. You're 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 a piggy. That's that's a pig. They put a pig in the game. Look at him, he's a pig. He's a happy pig. Oh, he's a happy pig. Hey, he's eating entrails. Oh, look at that. Look at you. You have received... You have reached level five. I have reached level five. That's interesting. That's cool. What's seven? Uh, Hellfire Strike requirements. Two-handed edged. Okay, so it really wants me to use that sweet. And that's fine. That's exactly why I'm playing this character. I want a two-handed edged with fire breathing. And Oh, the camera. Oh, camera. Please leave me alone. <laughs> My mouse wheel is an evil mistress where I try to spin it one way and it will not spin that way. Oh, there we go. All right, there we are. Oh no. Ah. And yeah. 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 All right, there we go. All right. And then yeah, I just love the tattoos. I love all the stuff. I hate that you can't play as a See, I I wish all my heart to go back in time to an alternate time. People talk about like what historical figures they'd warn about their deaths or, or kill or whatever. No, no, no. I would just make sure that Age of Conan became far more popular than it did, and they would add far more races than they did, and at least like, far more cultural backgrounds, because it's really, it's human player characters. And of course, my dream Conan game is one that is more like a dream for me, and not necessarily a dream for every Conan fan, which is that I'd like to run around as a Deep One magic user, and, uh, well, whatever. It's fine, a Deep One magic user cultist of Dagon. All right, big man. Big boy, big guy, Mr. Big Man. Hey, Mr. Half Giant from Dark Sun, I'm gonna fight you. Yeah, all right, there we go. Yeah, yeah, wow, wow, all right, there we go. All right, you, you need to just stop and go to sleep. You need to shush, go to bed. Zotli wants to put you in a nice fire blanket of sleep and love. That's, that is what has happened. That is Jesus. That, no, wait, no, that's not Jesus. That's, that's Zodli. What's a Jesus? All right. There, there we go. It's 10,000 BC. What, it's, it's, well, a little, a little past. It. Crude arrows and Pictish bow. I can't use bows. That's interesting. I, I didn't really thought of that. All right. So my, my, I really got to get good at this old demon magic thing. All right. So we got ring, pirate ring, plus one constitution. Let's take, uh, Yes. All right, pirate ring. Let's you know, let's take that. That's good. 
A lot of this stuff we can't use, but it would still be good to sell. Oh, they made pies. Look at that. They made pies. They made a pie. Oh, look at that. They made a pie. They made a pie. Casilda. They made a pie. They made a pictish pie. It's a big pie. It's a big pie. It's a pie pick. It's a big pie. Yay. It's a big pie, Casilda. Casilda. It's a big pie. It, 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 it's a big pie. All right. Okay. All right. Demon power activate. Okay. Red power ranger. All right. All right. Look at that. That's a mustache. That is one solid stash on that pick. Why are they? Oh, they're killed. They're, they're, they're nailed up here in intimidation because they're from a rival pick tribe. Picts are in a constant state of war at this point in human history. And it is not a fun time. It is not a fun time in the Conan universe. Let me tell you. So you got like the bat tribe, which is what we're infiltrating now. And then you have insert random animal tribe who they're fighting. And I'm guessing they were a ape or monkey tribe because we see an ape or monkey skull or head right here. So they were probably from an ape tribe. All right. Uh, now. Yeah. Yes. I will examine cultural anthropology and make documentaries about you after I kill you. I will teach you that... Ah, uh, all right. Uh, I don't... Oh, God. Yeah, no, I messed up my hand placement. It's good that he was close to death. All right, I am level... Oh, what level am I? I'm still level five. Good, good, good. Okay, I know what I'm doing. Oh, I didn't notice the sculpture was placed this way before. What is this? What is this? It is... Oh, this isn't terrible. It's a lion, serpent, is it Lovecraftian? Uh, is this... Are we in, like, a giant king ruin? No, we're not in a giant king ruin. We're in a Lovecraftian entity ruin that is... Very little is explained about them, but that's... Part of the fun of Conan is the amount of indistinguishable, indescribable races. Like, that's why I think the most fun you can have as a Conan YouTuber, or someone who does content on Conan, is always going to be doing theory or lore crafting videos. It's never going to be something along the lines of, here's the exact lore and the exact sort of... Like, no, 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 it, you, you're the, you should, one, always, in terms of your videos, be there to have a conversation, don't be there to talk at people, be there to talk to them, but also, it's just incredibly fun to theorize on these, you're, you're an amateur archaeologist, you're an amateur anthropologist is what you are when you're examining a lot of these groups, and we're almost to the alien group that I wanted to get to over here, and before that, I'm just going to run through. I like, I admire the set pieces. I like all the set pieces. I like them. I like them a lot. I like the set pieces. We can't go in here. I'm going to go ahead and guess if the game was further developed, there would be a door here. Do, 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 All right. All right. Bat-picked archer and bat-picked archer. I wonder who I'm going to fight first. Well, actually, I want to see if I have to kill anyone left over here. Did I fight everyone in here? Yes, I did. I did. I did. Okay. Bat-picked archer. Looks like your time is up. Shaboom. Yeah. Shaboopy. The one that's hard to get. Yeah. By the power of Zotli. Uh, Alright. Now, I wish I actually had some time to get, like, an RP together. But I just wanted to do this Let's Play. Because it's something I just naturally put off. And then, it's also... The Conan... Age of Conan is a mood game. It's very much a mood game, and you have to get into it. You do. You have to really solidly get into it uh, to actually enjoy it. It's it's a mood setter for the universe, or rather for getting deeper into the universe, because it just, I love it. And you have the same Blackstone substance, which if you played Isle of Sipta, you'll notice they didn't do a very good job fleshing out the lore in Isle of Sipta or giving you good context clues to go off of, like with the uh, the gray race that's in there that may or may not be ghouls, uh, etc., etc. But right now, very fun. All right, so Fakuth Guardian. Fakuth Guardian. That's, that's what we're dealing with. Fakuth Guardian. And they are either mutant groups, probably a form of ghoul, meaning a mutated human who serves a uh, higher power of some form. Uh, but also they are some type of alien-human hybrid. And it, it's just interesting to go out and find enemies like this that are representative of the more alien, and that is Fakuth. 
So that is the Fakuth Guardians and Fakuth. Uh, and of course, what we would like to do is we would like to wait to fight Fakuth uh, on his own. And for right now, do as much grinding as possible and as much uh, sort of sniping as possible by attracting his dear friends here. And we don't have any ranged attacks, so that'll be a little hard because we have to wait for their AI, or for their patrol route, if you will, uh, to come back around here. There we go. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Yeah, just you, just you, just you. Good, 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 good. Yeah, yeah, you don't worry. Huh? Oh, I like that I have the ability to miss. I usually never noticed that before either. Oh. Oh, so he's like a dodger. He's a dodge expert, basically. I actually never noticed that because last time I fought him with fire. Like, actual demonologist fire. Meaning, I, I flew, like, the, the demonologist fire spells are kind of... It, it, it's, it is kind of overpowered early game. But the, the other side of that is that you're not going to get any of the cool treasury weapons. Or at least you're not going to be able to really use them uh, the same way you would. Come on. Come on, just you. Just you. Come on. Come on. There we go. There we go. There we go. Come over here. Come over here. Come right over here. There we are. Alright, we want to make sure to keep our distance from Fakuth over there. So we have the freedom to take him when we feel like we can actually get him. And we want to make sure we're at full health when we go up against him. Let's see what we got from this fellow here. Vile of Demon Blood. Okay, so that gives us our first end. They're demons, baby. They are demons, but uh, technically we also were... Hey, would you like to convert to a new religion? Fuck, fuck who? Uh, I'm not sure where you're from, but uh, something tells me it rhymes with Isla and the uh, sunken city of the Dars. Uh, let's see here. This is the same thing. This is the same pyroing. Okay. All right. All right, we got full health. We we can we just need to go in. We need to go in. I got you. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, I can't see your health bar and I'm scared. Ah. Uh, I feel like a first time investor buying GameStop stock. Ah. Uh, Oh my god, he killed him. Okay, good. I was not sure we'd be able to take him with an up-close and personal character. That'd be good. Alright, so, Fakuth's bite, baby. How you two-handed edged, baby? Two-handed edged! How you doing? Okay, look here, you... you. Mm -hmm. uh, let's, let's, let's just, let's throw... Give you some furry underwear. And, uh, you... Uh-huh. Yeah, my inventory is full still. Okay. Um, what if I toss out the stupid bandana? Uh, yeah. Okay. There we go. And then what is this? Small mangled talon. Uh, vendor price 2010. Uh, vendor price 210. Uh, and let's, let's throw out Savager's Tattered Top. Uh, scavenger's... Oh, wait. This was a top? Oh, no. This is not a top. All right. Oh, baby. Oh, baby, yes. Oh, baby. Mm-hmm. Okay, so this is beautiful. Um, if you like building with the storm glass material from Isle of Sipta, these ruins, these shattered lands should give you a lot of inspiration. Uh, I absolutely love it. DirectX 10 is really... I'm seeing this stuff in DirectX 10 for the first time, really, in this playthrough spent so long modding games and you have to find an excuse to actually play them. And that's one of the philosophies that made me do my Dark Sun uh, overhaul. I was actually just about to do another Skyrim overhaul and I realized I still hadn't really played through this and it's so stupid. I bought the, um, a while back, I bought the $60 version. So I have everything the game comes with. Um, just it still only comes with one character slot though, which is one of the biggest drawbacks. So, th this game definitely has its drawbacks. Funcom hasn't updated in a while, but it's still a miracle that it keeps it going. I love that it still has a dedicated fan base that it does. Uh, and let's just get the... This is the fruit of our efforts, 
boys and girls. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. We got a fancy Cthulhu sword. Fancy Cthulhu sword while wearing poopy dress. Wearing a poopy dress. Fancy Cthulhu sword. Well, wearing a poopy dress. Uh. But all right. All right. I am just. Let's just. Oh, that's satisfying. Oh, baby. Yeah. Yeah. Mm hmm. All right. Seven. And. T oh, Fire Blade of Justice. Fire Blade of Zootly's Madness. Hello. I am loving everything about this. Okay. All right, let's move on to the next area. That is... Oh, that is glorious. That is just wonderful. Okay. Oh, hello, Mr. Gorilla. I have a surprise for you. I don't even care that that's where it's... I just want to use the new thing. I know that that's not where it's ideal to hit. I don't care. Uh, do we really want to take banana? I don't want to take banana. I have enough to sell. I'm just going to kill my way through jungle apes and then uh, find my way back home. This is what I'm going to do. All oh, right. I'm incredibly stupid. I, I forgot the prompt. All right, and this is actually something I like, too. Again, that constant need to actually remember how your skills were. Oh, yeah, stop doing this. That habit. I'm a ludaholic. I'm a hoarder. All right. Hmm. Ah, all right. Actually, just let me let me just fight him like this. Now, just, I want to enjoy this new sword. I do. I really do. This is... I feel important. Do you understand... Do you understand? I feel important. This is the first time I've gotten this sword with a character who can use it. I feel... G ah, stop trying to... Stop it with the banana. I'm addicted to the banana. Abdul Sulfir is addicted to the banana. He needs to stop. He has a banana addiction. Casilda, I have a banana addiction. It's a dark secret. Not like my human sacrifice, which I'm overwhelmingly proud of and will hope that you help me with because Zotli is a good, good creature. Uh, alright, now... We shall we shall fight you in the face. Yeah. And fire breath. And two in the face. None. Bankai. All right. There we go. Nah. Okay. Now we. I eventually we're getting up here. We're getting to the. Not quite in the city yet, but uh, episode two I think will be City of Tortage. Because I'm going to get up, I'm going to get a coffee break, and then we're going to head into the city of Tortage. But we still have a little ways to go and a few more uh, characters to interact with. Uh, I am kind of uh, losing energy because sick. But that is fine, because I really like this. I really like it. What I want to know, though, is when I will have my grand, beautiful armor that will make it so I stop losing all of my health all the time. I love this. I love this blade. I love this blade. Oh, baby. Alright. Oh, baby. Okay, Mr. Ape Man. I'm gonna take you out now, King Kong. You may have raised Tarzan, but you ain't raising me. Alright. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna go beat you up. By the way, Tarzan is, of course, a very easy character to play in in a Conan setting, because obviously it'd be a human raised by apes, and that's like, you could easily have a picked exile, who was, boom, you easily have a picked exile, who was literally raised by apes, and he knows how to speak ape. Ugh. Okay. I love the Batman Forever music. All right. Okay. Well, actually, Big Ruby, Big Big Shiny Ruby. Um. Yeah, we can get rid of that. Uh huh. And then we'll uh, we'll take that. Well, I'm gonna take that. Yeah. Mm hmm. Okay. 
I got a lot to I got a lot to do. Liberated from slavery. Liberated from slavery. Yes. Y yes. Casilda. I'm so glad to see you. I'm happy to see you too, good buddy. You you look thoughtful. Is something wrong? No, friend. My mind wanders to thoughts of Tortage, where we will soon arrive. I fled there only now to flee back. The gods must hate me. They don't hate you. They wanted you to find Zotli. And so you have. Uh, let's see. You're still alive, aren't you? Uh, do you fear a return to the city? Why do you fear a return to the city? I do. Though I now fear it much less than remaining trapped outside its walls. Listen well, my friend and savior. When the sun beats down on the city, be careful of all you do. The nights are safer when the Red Hand soldiers are ordered to defend Strom's keep from assassins. Will, will you be recaptured? Uh, you're still alive. The tyrant fears assassins. <laughs> tyrant fears assassins. Of course the tyrant fears assassins. All right. Okay. I'll never forget your help. Oh, thank you very much. All right. And moving on. Huh? Friend? Another gate. At least this one seems to be unlocked. On the other side, the city awaits us. We're close enough for me to make my own way from here. Uh, I've little coin or anything of value to reward you for the help you've given me, but... Uh, speak with me inside the city and I'm sure we can come to some kind of arrangement. I'll see you inside the city walls. Just remember to say nothing about escaping your captors or killing any slavers. You crush picked heads with great skill, but stay out of trouble in the city if you want to see another sunrise. Look, I have a banana addiction. Give me the fruit and you can live. We'll meet again. That's not an agreement. Oh, okay. As always, screwing me out of the bananas. It's what they do what they all do. I'm a simple man. Oh, God. What? Oh, what have I done? Okay. That was confusing. That was scary. Um, oh, wait. Is this... Okay, hang on. I gotta check something. Well, no, I know that's the cash shop, but... Uh, okay. I was, I was kind of hoping that... Uh, never mind. I think this had an action mode or something. Oh, hello. Oh, that's another character. Another player. Another player. Another player. Another player. Another player. 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 Another player. Another player. Another player. Player. Panther. Oh, what is what is he? He's a champion of Zath. Wait, champion of Zath. Wait, what? What? Class bear shaman. Okay, champion of Zath. Like Zath. Like what is it? Zath is in this game. Was champion of Zath. Uh, no, he's a bear shaman who chose to become a champion of Zath. Okay, that's fair enough. And that's the part of... That's the other reason I, you, everyone needs to be playing this game. This is one of the only Conan games with a fully explorable Aquilonia and Stygia that later in the game... Because I know this because I've seen the screenshots. I know it's there. I, it's there. I know it's there. Look at that skull. Look at the red skull. Look, he got around since Marvel. He's doing good. He's doing good. Technically, we're in the Marvel Universe, but also not. But also, yes. But also not. But also, shut up. Now, uh, Champion of Zath. Hey, look at this guy. These guys know character design. They're good. They're good. Every single Conan character I've seen, not single one of them is played for laughs. Every single person respects the aesthetics that they're going for. I always love that. I think it's the same spirit a lot of RPers have in uh, Conan Exiles. Hey, I am World Captain Lalanga. And Lalanga is overwhelmingly charming and overwhelmingly down to earth. Okay. I seek. Uh, to enter the city. And also, I love misdirection and subtlety in this game. Uh, as it stands, very fun. Uh, because, okay, well, we're going to see this. Okay, so, uh, I seek to enter the city. I can't let you in. You wear a prisoner's irons. The red hand rules Tortaj now. They have no tolerance for escaped slaves on the streets. None. how can I remove my shackles? You could use a smith's tools or a decent weapon. And I see you carry neither. Let it never be said that World Captain Loranga was a cold man, though. One of the city's blacksmiths, Turak, works over there by the Lava River. 
Speak with him. All right. Goodbye. Locke be with you. And, uh, well, okay, we'll find that out later, but generally speaking, Loranga is a very fun, down-to-earth character. We eventually are able to get into the city by giving him a letter for a, what looks like a letter for a girlfriend. There is more to that. It's actually part of a conspiracy for the uh, first part of our story. And the resistance, and wow, wow, look at the water. Look at the water. Look at the water. Look at the water. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. Hmm. All right. Turok. Turok. What level are you? Olaf. Olaf, level seven, champion of Zath. Dang. You are you are doing good. You got some good. You got fingerless. Glo Wait. What? Is that? Okay. That that necklace for a second looked very. Uh. Ve it it looked very witchery. But uh. No. Uh, you're a you're a bear shaman. Hey. You know bears. You know. You know who created bears. Zotli. I don't have any proof for this, but. You know. Uh, please convert. Food for thought, you know? Anyway, let's move on. All right, Turok. Turok is a very cool uh, Nordheimer gentleman. Very based. Very, well, no, no, he's not Nordheimer. I think he's Sumerian. Aye. Uh, Turok, can you break these shackles? That's piss poor Stygian work if ever I saw it. Worst quality I are never used by a craftsman. No time, though. The lava is rising, and if I don't get this dam finished, Tortage drowns in the volcano's burning blood. And I, I love this. So already, this is a great opportunity for roleplay. They took full advantage of it. So you can choose to rely on your cultural background. Are you a prideful Stygian? Because one thing I was pointing out earlier in kind of a mumbled way is that Stygia right now is one of the most civilized places in, even though it's also home to a lot of cruelties, it's also the, one of the most advanced civilizations. It's Aquilonia, Stygia, and Hyperborea that are kind of these, uh, well, Katai also, obviously, that are kind of like this you know, race to basically be kind of a superpower. So think ancient Egypt, ancient China, um, uh, ancient Greece mixed with Frankish culture that would later turn into France and stuff, uh, which, is, which is Aquilonia. All right, I'll say, so no time, so I can I can choose to do this. I can choose to say, like, hey, hey, bro, you know, Stygia, you know, but I already said, you know, I primarily come from an Atlantean bloodline. My family respects that bloodline. So we're not necessarily pro-Stygian, you know, but we do often reference things like a smarmy Stygian uh, person or a smarmy person from Stygia would uh, because we did get a higher education. We did like to, uh, this character does like to sarcastically, uh, you know, flex on people. He did get his training in sorcery from the Black Circle, which uh, just, you know, casually takes on apprentices in that world, but also kind of kills them out of jealousy. Anyway, if I help you, will you remove my chains? There's a quarry just ahead, and I need stone bricks. I've seen neither hide nor hair of my wagon since my mule got spooked near the Acheronian ruins. But you've a strong back, eh? Bring me some stone bricks, and I'll smash your shackles. I'll bring the stone bricks. This river won't dam itself. You might want to run, friend. Time's not on our side in this. Goodbye. Go then. No, I think he's Nordheimer. I do. This guy, though. He's Sumerian. I know that because he's a bear shaman. Also because it says Sumerian over him. Quest finished. The blacksmith. All right. All right, I love my sword. Look at that sword. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Ah, oh, look at that. Look at those fangs on the bottom. Look at that style. Look at that scimitar with his fancy. Look like Mihawk from One Piece. I haven't watched One Piece since I was a kid, but I know Mihawk, and Mihawk had the cool big scimitar. Now look. Oh, man, now he's gone. All right, o Olaf is gone. I am sad now. Olaf is gone, and I am sad. All right. Okay. You there, face the power of schizophrenia. Oh, wait, I, uh, my brain is in Skyrim mode. I thought R was to take out my weapon. Uh, in reality, I just hit people. All right, you. All right, wait, F? No, Z? No, X? Whoa, what's that? What was that? What was that? All right. Well, I don't know what that was. Am I still level 5? I appear to be level 5 for my level 6. I don't know. I'm level five. Good. All right. Oh no! Hiya! I'm running. 
Okay. Alright. I gotta know how to use my abilities and know them well. Okay. And, uh, six. Whoa. Okay. We might wanna... Oh. Hello. Okay. Alright. Alright. Okay. Uh, really don't wanna die. I really don't wanna die. Okay. Alright. Okay, you know what would be helpful here? The uh, the health potions I keep not using. Uh, those would be very, very helpful here. Um, and I'm going to assign those to a slot here. Um, can I assign those uh, to here? Oh, no! I didn't mean to use it now! Alright, whatever. I still got three of them. Uh, and you are a Sumerian Conqueror. Well, you Sumerian kind of, a lot of, a lot of just straightforward Conan vent. That's fine, that's great, I love that people are inspired by it. Uh, I just specifically am a weirdo. I want to be a deep one. I, I, it's, okay. Oh no! Oh no! My dreams of being a fish man! Ruined! By a bat demon! Say it ain't so. Okay, cool. Vial of demon blood. I want it. It's mine. All right, there we go. All right, gain three stones. Absolutely. And this is a grind fest over here, so I can come back off camera and just start grinding, uh, you know. Dude, it's Olaf! Olaf! Uh, I should try to friend that person. I should try to talk to people online. I know I should, because that's... Oh, dude, dude, demonologist, 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 Stygian demonologist. Oh, the titty. He's summoning the titty. He's summoning the succubus titty. Summon the succubus titty. Dark Reckoning, what is it? Dark, demonologist, the Dark oh, dark Reckoning. Uh, what's what's your thing? Okay, Stygian demonologist. And you're a uh, Sumerian conqueror. Oh, can I dance? Can we dance if we want to? Can we, can we leave our friends behind? No, I don't want... No! No! I want to help! What are you doing? I want to help! I'm your friend now! Hi! Hello! Hi! What? What are we doing? Hi! I'm watching people do things. Uh... Why don't I put away my sword? Hmm. V? No. T? No. Oh! Tell! Uh... Hello. What? Hello. Oh, they're they're already gone. Okay. All right. Well, fine. Okay, but that was that's the demonologist. They're cool. I like them. Okay. Now I'm now I'm going to run away back to the sulfur ufer dolfer dol 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 terok. He's a cool dude. Ah. <laughs> oh. That's pain. All right. There we go. Okay. And this is Aqualonian Conqueror. All right. Aqualonian, that's usually my go-to culture. But uh, uh, I've got your stone bricks. Oh. Faster than I Give. feel good. Now I can finish the job. Doubt anyone will hail me as a hero, but at least we all get to live another day. Now for my chains. Then let's do it before some red hand soldiers come by and see what we're about. Put your wrists on either side of that stone and turn your face aside. I owe you my thanks. I don't like to see chains on the undeserving. I have a powerful hate for featherweak Stiggy and Iron too. It's a pleasure to destroy the stuff. Hey, right, check out this sword. I got it from a bunch of aliens I killed. Go then. <laughs> I love that. I got this from a bunch of aliens. I could go then. You weird freak. Okay, so we are almost in the city. Um, and when I get in the city, get ready for more long drawn out stuff as we pick a new wardrobe and look totally baller as we go and get that that hyperborean drip. And I that's the first time I've said drip, and it does not feel good coming out of my mouth. That will not happen again. That is gross. Okay. I am not a young person. All right, there we go. Welcome to the city of Totage. Keep one hand on your knife 
and the other on your purse. All right. No slave irons, Loranga. Let me in. And actually, we see that Loranga, because later we're going to find out that Loranga is a part of the resistance. But even if he wasn't, personally, honestly, the I like that horse. That lady has a nice horse. I like that she's dressed as Robin Hood. That woman has good fashion sense. And I like the succubus. Hello, it's on the booty. Okay. Um, but generally, Loranga, he's a fun guy, and you're going to see why. So, no slave irons, Loranga. Let me in. Hmm. Why, how rare. You look much like an escaped slave who blindly approached me a short while ago, begging to come into Tortage. <coughs> I'm sure you have never worn a slave's manacles in your life. Very well. You may pass, but there is a condition, my unsubtle renegade. Uh, name it. Inside the city, you'll find a thirsty dog tavern close to the gate. The barmaid there, Tina. I want you to hand her this letter. I'll see her after I finish my duties today, so I'll know if you don't keep your word. Tell her Loronga sent you, and keep your hands to yourself. Hear me? Uh, I'll bring her. So, yeah, no, that's that's the wonderful thing. So, even though, um, yes, this is part of a plot for the Resistance, that's the subtlety there. I, I know I'm giving you a bunch of spoilers for the first part of the story. It is a fun pirate conspiracy. Um, it's just not fun because a lot of people, if they are Conan fans, just want to see the more known locations. They want to see Aquilonia. They want to see Stygia. Loranga is a fun character. He's on an island of slavers and monsters, and all he really wants, if, if you're a first-time player, the impression you get, all he really wants is to deliver a note to his girlfriend. And that's like, ah, oh, that's nice. I love that. All right, I'll bring her your note. Thank you. A word of wisdom if you have the time. This was your first lesson in how Tortage works. A favor for a favor. And you're only as good as your word. Be careful when scratching others' backs that someone doesn't plant a dagger in yours. You think the jungle was bad? Welcome to your new home. Goodbye. Watch your back, my friend. I will watch my back. And I hope you watch yours and come back for episode two that will be recorded later tonight after my coffee break and uh actually you know what i'll do the um I'll, I'll do the grand reveal but what i'll do is i'll go into the city and uh i'll go in get the the clothes together for my new wardrobe you'll start off episode two and you'll see the new wardrobe and then you'll see uh, I'll, I'll be out here and uh, then I'll take you to the city, and we'll see. Actually, there's a great day-night function. There's a lot of fun. So that's a lynched man. And with DirectX 10, this is the first time I've noticed the lynched man swinging there. Hello, Mr. Lynched Man. Hi. You're dead for something. I assume I'm sorry you died. If this was Skyrim, you'd be hanging so low to the ground that I could jump up and press E, and then I could steal your shit. All right. Uh, anyway, see you next time.